Libra. Welcome to your general reading for mid-July. Hope you're doing amazing. So this is a general reading. As I said before, if it doesn't resonate, don't worry about it. Don't fret. <laughs> um, you can check your moon rising or Venus if you would like for a full picture of your energy for this time. Also, if you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link's in the description box below. Or you can go to the website up above. I do have testimonials there in case you're interested. And a whole slew of other information. I'm also on social media. I have social media accounts that are linked below. And um, a Patreon. And Patreon, you get bonus readings, all the transit readings that I do. The extendeds for any video that has an extended and the general readings. I'm catching up today, so they'll be up to uh, two weeks in advance, I believe. Okay, so Libra, let's get into your mid-July energy. We have willpower, new beginnings, and well-being. Consciousness of lack. Hidden motivations. And the vast universe. I feel like you've taken some time off of working with for something, on something. You know why, Libra? It feels as though you needed to take a break. Um, it could be just a personal break, you know, like a mental break. Um, maybe something, a conflict that just got really to be too much. Or maybe you were focusing too much on your future or money. But I feel like you needed to get your mindset back on track so you took a little break okay um honestly this feels like you're trying to decide why you like someone so much or someone is trying to come back into your life and you're trying to figure out why what's their plan what do they want Yeah, I get a lot of energy from you, Libra, about spiritually you just wanting peace. You know, that, that's in all of these cards. It's like you just want peace. You know, you want this new beginning where you can like be free and feel good and just everything is just balanced. Especially when it comes to your emotions. Okay, so six of wands, full Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Sun and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I get a whole story with this. So, Libra, it's like you're going towards everything that you want in life, right? Everything seemed good, the path seemed good, the person seemed good, the situation seemed good. The way that you were going about things seemed perfect, okay? But you're hitting a lot of situations that you didn't calculate, okay? That you didn't see coming. And you were hoping that, you know, like the will of destiny would turn into your favor as long as you were following those specific ways of doing things. But you're starting to see this all that glitters isn't gold type of feeling. So it's giving me the energy for you that you want to start from scratch. And I feel like that's where this balance is coming from. So you can get this sort of balance within yourself and then move forward from there. Okay. So major arcana on the table. These two 
actually. The Fool and The Fool. The Fool is about taking a risk. A taking a risk. Um, it's also about freedom. Because I feel like you just need that sense of freedom to be able to start over. To not feel like you have any baggage. So in the first row, I feel like, and I say this lightly, it feels like you feel like you're a failure in some area. Because you didn't get the recognition or the outcome or something that you wanted. So it's like you went into something wholeheartedly, you know, with the passion and desire for good and you came out of it with nothing. But I feel like you were dealing with someone who was a crapshoot, you know, like a roll of the dice. Um, like anything could have happened. They're just they're just following what they feel at the moment, what they think is best at the moment. I feel like, honestly, Libra, you're about to cut this person out. If you haven't cut them out, you're keeping them at a safe distance where you can watch them. <laughs> you know, where you where you know where they stand, where your heart isn't in it or your head isn't in it. Um, I also see somebody maybe taking a, a risk towards you or coming towards you. You know, they may be having a mo like a, one of those come to Jesus moments where they want to relive or rehash something with you. But I feel like you're a little bit vulnerable due to multiple situations you've been in that have not been successful. But I already see that as quick as it started, quickly you're going to want to cut this out. I feel like you don't want the issues that come with this. You don't. You're kind and you're welcoming, but at the same time, you're not going to listen to any craziness. I just, I really don't feel like you are. So... I do feel like you're a little bit vulnerable because of what of things that have happened in the past. So you may think about it for a moment. But it's not even long enough to be called a moment. <laughs> you know, I feel like you've already decided that you want some sort of peace at this point. Or that maybe you need to take time to reflect even though I don't feel that heaviness in the cards you it's more like a pause yeah you haven't been able to start anything and maybe that you're choosing people that are too shallow that's the first thing the second thing is too young too inexperienced um, that don't want to grow with you especially if this is love and I feel like you've moved on you still keep the situations in your mind, I feel like, for future assessment later. But you're not really holding on to them per se. You know, you have a goal that you're trying to achieve, but it's very, very hard for you to get to that goal. I almost feel like you're pulling from a pool that's not good. Like a P-O-O-L. That's not, it's not a good pool of people to pull from. And I feel like as you go along in your journey, someone connects with you moving forward in mid-July. This could be a free-spirited type of person, but I feel like they're just out to see like what's out there. 
but I don't feel like this is a person who is going to really fight for you. No. And I also feel like um, this person is still coming off of... They're not... They're just looking for something open, something fun. But I feel like you're going to cut this person off. You, you've already been through this, I feel like. And there's that feeling again. It's just like, I'm not... I've already been through this. This is cute. This is attractive. I like it. It's fun. But I, this is like me consciously inviting conflict into my life is what I'm feeling with that. Okay. So, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're deciding to keep moving forward just like you were. Just like you were doing. You know, um, you're not going to let the people that you contact or the people that you date that aren't good stop you from moving forward. You're not going to let the small things that go wrong and make you feel rejected. You're not going to let them stop you. I don't see that. So I feel like those people that you were kind of holding on to, you're letting them go. I really get this starting off from a clean slate, Libra. I really feel like that's what you're doing and you're moving forward. You have a motivation of what it is that you want and you're moving forward. You may be moving toward the, towards an earth sign, somebody that feels more established. more mature I feel like it's really what's important for you but I still feel like you have to get rid of those people fully but I do feel like you're equipped with a lot of lessons due to the things that you have been through Yeah, these people that you were dealing with that you no longer need, Libra, you're definitely letting those go. You're not giving them any more of your heart space. I don't feel like you're doing that. It just doesn't seem to be worth the investment. And then it feels like a failure. So it's like you're taking time to get balanced and figure out what it is that you truly want here. The whole key is moving forward. You're moving forward. You may be going back to someone from a pa the past. Um, but it doesn't feel like someone that you were established with in any means. It doesn't feel like anybody that's a part of this group that you're getting rid of. These are like burdens, problems, relationships that never developed but you tried type of thing. And this is like maybe people you passed over or that you had on the waiting list. <laughs> The waiting list but yeah I feel like you're you're going to try love again but your idea is someone more mature established or maybe when you are in those in that energy so you want to spend time on yourself this could be someone that you think about a lot like, why did I not? Or, honestly, because I'm getting that this is a person that you went back and forth in your mind about whether to talk to or not. For various reasons. It could be that they're um, not your usual type. Or you don't feel like you have enough to fulfill them in the long run. I feel like you're going to get impulsive. I had this in the last reading. It's like an impuls impulsive energy that you have. But... This is like an insecurity. Yeah, this is insecurity and money. This is 
is a really good time to figure out why you feel this way. Why you don't feel established enough. Why you don't feel good enough. Um, and how can you change that? That's something that needs to be reflected on. Okay, Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Some of you have been feeling a lack of spirituality or maybe not listening to your intuition or knowing to trust it. Uh, I feel like you haven't been spending a lot of time with spirit and that's why, you know, start integrating new practices in like meditation, uh, meditating more, yoga, um, Reiki treatments, whatever that is for you. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> yeah, you've been really busy either working, trying to maintain a relationship, something like that. You've been really meticulously focused on another area of your life. And now I feel like you're feeling that kind of decline of of spiritual energy because you've accepted what has happened in that area and you're trying to move on. Um, you're trying to definitely get a higher perspective. You, you're taking time to yourself. I felt that before. And in the past, you know, we all make not the best decisions and we have to deal with those things. But I feel like you haven't had your mind on, you know, your intuition and your spirituality as much. So now you're taking the time to to heal that. It's really going to help you get it's really going to help you get rid of this energy of not being good enough or not being on track or um needing to do more, you know, because they don't want you to misplace that energy that you're releasing into something else that's going to be um negative or or not a good energy for you. So So they want you to connect spiritually first before you take that next step, I feel. But really, Libra, this is about you getting back balanced again. Just taking a moment to get back balanced. So you can have like a steady jump off point for yourself. So we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Easy. Yeah. You cannot change the past, but you can definitely start the present off really good. <laughs> you know, it's all about awareness, Libra. Let's be honest. If you're aware of what needs to happen, that's perfect, right? You don't have to, you know, we all make mistakes. It is what it is, right? Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Very much so. It does not. You have a lot of starting at the present energy because I feel like you're definitely aware of what's happening. You're seeing like the negativity of it, the, the bad directions, and you're balancing those out and taking control. And death, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yes. So this is starting over. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It means that you are readjusting. Isn't that much better? <laughs> So Libra, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.